हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्ड देन माय चैनल कैन बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू लेट मी टेल यू आई एम अपलोडिंग इवन बेटर वीडियोज ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन प्रीवियसली आई हैव अपलोडेड द एंटायर कॉन्टेंट ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड आई एम री अपलोडिंग द बेटर वीडियोज सो यू कैन चेक आउट माई न्यू प्ले लिस्ट फ्रॉम आई टैब एंड यू विल ऑल्सो फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट that how do we solve for the particular integral in an equation here any differential equation has two parts one is the cf and the second is the particular integral i explained cf in last class if we have real distinct roots how will we find the cf how we will find it in equal or complex roots if it is irrational roots then how we find it so you can check it out through the i tab now we will discuss about particular integrals firstly we'll discuss is if any differential equation is given like this and it is given e to the power of ax this can be e to the power of ax it could be sin or cos or x square plus x or it could be given as e to the power of ax in product with any function we get its particular integral here based on the various different functions so in today's class i'll explain you that how do we find the particular integral if this is given as e to the power ax so let's start now look here whenever we are given any differential equation then this entire symbolic form is taken to the denominator right we will take it below e to the power ax then wherever it is d replace it with a then we will get the particular integral clear but this denominator has to be non zero if in case the denominator becomes zero what do we do we multiply the numerator by x and differentiate the denominator we continuously repeat this process until the denominator becomes a non zero term is it clear let's understand with an example let's assume a differential equation given here d minus 1 into y is equal to e to the power of 2x If I ask what would be the pi, what we will do? We know the CF, right? And in such questions, wherever it is d, we replace it with m, right? So we know it will become m is equal to one. The CF will be y is equal to c one e to the power x. Now let's see pi. We'll take this in denominator. So this will be e to the power two x upon d minus one and replace d with two. It will become e to the power two x upon two minus one, which is e to the power two x, right? And we will get the answer as CF plus pi. it will be y is equal to c1 e to the power x plus e to the power 2x but if we get some changes in this equation let's say it becomes d minus 1 into y is equal to e to the power x now the cf will remain the same the cf will not change this will be c1 e to the power x what will happen in pi as you take this in the denominator wherever it is d put 1 as coefficient of power is 1 it was 2 so we put 2 if 1 then we put 1 but then denominator becomes Zero and in that case we multiply the numerator by x and differentiate it with respect to d. This is the final answer CF plus PI and this is the concept. Now I'll explain some questions gradually to help you understand the concept. Right? If we have this differential equation here and this constant here, what do we do when a constant is given? First I'll explain it CF. This is m square minus three m plus two equals zero. We will get the value of m as one and two. Then we will get the CF as y equals c one e to the power x. Plus c two e to the power two x. Now we will find its pi. So what it will be? Y is equal to one. It will be one upon d square minus three d. Plus two we will write this one as e to the power zero x divided by d square minus three d plus two. Wherever it is d, replace it with zero. On substituting zero for d, it will be zero here minus zero plus two. So you can see the value will become e to the power zero x upon two. And in this e to the power zero is one. so it will be 1 upon 2 what we will get it will be the pi then the answer we get is y is equal to cf plus pi hence this will become y is equal to c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power 2 x plus pi which is 1 upon 2 so students this is what we get as its answer and this is how we solve these types of given questions now we will discuss the cf it will be m square plus 4 m plus 4 is equal to 0 If we simplify this, the value of m we get is minus two and minus two. We know that the CF will be y is equal to c one plus c two x e to the power minus two x. When we discuss about pi, then we will get it as y is equal to e to the power two x d square plus four d plus four. Now wherever it is d, replace it with two. If we put two, then we will get this as two square plus four into two plus four. You can see what we will get as its value as. Y is equal to e to the power two x. Four and four is eight, and eight plus eight is sixteen. So this will be our answer. So the final answer will be CF plus PI, right? So in this way, we solve this question here, 
and then next we will discuss whenever we put any value here like wherever it is d we put a and if the denominator becomes zero like i just explained we multiply x in numerator and differentiate the denominator let's take an example so in this case what we will do here it is m4 plus m cube plus it is m square minus m and here minus 2 is equal to 0 first we find the roots of this equation what are the roots we get what are we going to do we can see what is this m is equal to 1 it satisfies the equation you can see when we put m equals to 1 it's becoming 0 look m is equal to 1 is making it 0 right this means that this m minus 1 what will this become it will become a root right what we will do now we will write m minus 1 four times we will write this four times as power is 4 we need m to the power of 4 so multiply by m cube m cube is multiplied by minus 1 will be negative term but we need a positive m cube that means i need a positive 2m cube so we will multiply by plus 2m square when 2m square is multiplied this will become minus 2m square but we need positive m square this means i need a positive 3m square here this means i'll multiply this by plus 3m now this will be minus 3m what will it be it will be minus 3m but we need minus m this means we need plus 2m so we will make it plus 2 right and this will be the final answer we get here now what will we do we can see a minus 1 is common here now m minus 1 is common you can see the terms we will get it will be m cube plus 2m square and plus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0 is it clear now when we talk about this here students we can notice m is equal to minus 1 is making it 0 right it means m is equal to minus 1 is making it 0. So this will be m plus 1, m plus 1. We'll write m plus 1 thrice because it's cube. Students, you must know this concept. So here you'll multiply by m square. This will become m cube and we'll get m square from this. We need another m square. So we will write plus m. Hence here we will get m square. Is it clear? Here we will get m. However, we need 3m. So we'll add 2. Now we will take m plus 1 common here this is m plus 1 here it is m minus 1 so what we will get in the bracket m square plus m plus 2 is equal to 0 right now we will put them equal to 0 separately we will get the values of m as 1 and minus 1 the value of m here is minus 1 plus minus b square this will be 1 and minus 4 ac right it will be minus 8 divided by 2 so you will notice it will be minus 1 plus or minus root 7 iota by 2 so we will get these two roots clear we will get two roots here and two roots here. Now I will explain its CF. We will understand CF as well. So the CF we get will be C1 e to the power x. C2 e to the power minus x plus the real part is minus 1 by 2. This will be e to the power minus x by 2. This will be C3 cos root of 7 by 2 x plus it is C4 sign. Square root of 7 by 4, sorry it will be 7 by 2 x, right? Hence, what we will get? We will get its CF here. Let's find its PI. What will we get? Y is equal to e to the power x upon d to the power of 4 plus d cube plus d square minus d minus 2. You can see that wherever it is d, we will place 1. It is 0 in the denominator. In that case, we multiply the numerator by x. And if we differentiate denominator, we get 4d cube plus 3d square plus 2d minus 1. We will put 1 in place of d. When we put 1, what will be its value? It will be 4 plus 3 plus 2 and minus 1. So when you solve this, you will get x e to the power x. Add these terms and we will get 8. Hence the answer will be y is equal to cf plus pi. So this is how we solve this type of questions very easily here. Okay, let's move on. Now in this next question, we can see if it is multiplied by a constant. Even then the pi will not change, the constant will move up. Let's take an example. We know the cf is m square minus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0 you know value of m will be 1 and 2 the cf we will get here will be c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power 2x now it's pi this will be y is equal to 3 e to the power 3x upon this will be d square and minus 3d plus 2 now replace d with 3 so this will be e to the power 3x and 9 minus 9 plus 2 9 will cancel out so 3 by 2 e to the power 3x the final answer to the question will be cf plus pi in this way we can easily solve such questions now let's understand one more concept now if we are given two types of functions like this in that case how do we find its pi sometimes in exams you might get cos hyperbolic x for example if we get something like this d square minus 6d plus 8y is equal to cos hyperbolic x or it could be sine hyperbolic x 
in that case you should know the formula for cos hyperbolic x and sin hyperbolic x and which is e to the power x plus e to the power minus x by 2 and its formula is e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x by 2 clear when it is a cos hyperbolic or a sin hyperbolic here then you should directly put this value if here we get a x then this will become a a right it is important and you should note it now let's understand the next question now let me tell you when we talk about this we will get m square minus 6 m plus 8 is equal to 0 we know its roots that we will get will be 2 and 4 the cf will be y is equal to c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power of 4x now let's find its pi what we will get this will be e to the power of 2x plus 1 so expand its whole square this will be e to the power of 4x plus 2 e to the power of 2x plus 1 it will be divided by d square minus 6 d plus 8 is it clear we will separate it <coughs> when you find the pi y is equal to this will become e to the power 4x upon the denominator will become d square and minus 6 d plus 8 right this term will be separated so 2 e to the power 2x divided by d square minus 6 d plus 8 and then the third term will be this is e to the power 0 x so we get d square minus 6 d plus 8 right because its value will be 1 now replace d with 4 if we place 4 i think it will become 0 because 4 is its root now it is 16 and then what we will get here we will get it as 6 into 4 is 24 it is becoming 0 when we will multiply with x then differentiation will be done here and now wherever there is a d replace it with 4 this will give us 8 minus 4 it will be 8 so we will do 8 minus 6 ok on this side when we put it here this will also become 0 because this is 4 and we are getting it as 12 this is also becoming 0 then we will multiply the numerator by x and what will we do here it's differentiation right now in place of d we will put 2 so we will get 4 minus 6 right wherever it is d replace it with 0 so you'll get e to the power 0 x upon 0 and it will be minus 0 plus 8 so this will become e to the power 0 x upon 8 right we will get y is equal to x into e to the power 4 x upon 2 this minus 2 and 2 will cancel out so this will become x e to the power 2 x 1 upon 8 we will get this final answer cf plus pi in this way we can very easily solve this type of question and this time i want that the questions i make you solve i pick and explain each and every function like today i explained e to the power ax right in the next session i will explain a mix of sine and cosine questions how do we find the pi of sine or cosine and then we will see how do we find the pi of a function of x after that we will move on to finding the pi of the product functions is it clear now this question given it's e raised to the power 5x and you have to find its pi how many seconds did it take you to solve this question and what is the correct answer from these four options you have to answer in the comment box let me tell you that i have uploaded updated version of the differential equations and you can watch that playlist here you will find the old playlist here and i am uploading videos on gate csir net and iit jam on my new channel you can subscribe from here and from here you can press the notification bell and follow my instagram as well thank you so much for watching like it share it and subscribe to the channel please share its answer in the comment box